Well, it's that time of year again, time when we honor those special women in our lives. Well, of course, you know who I'm talking about, our moms, Mother's Day right here. And all of us are thinking about what do you do? How can we honor mom this year? Sometimes it can be a little more trying, especially if you're dealing with an older mom. Well, here to help us out, we called on our good friends at Senior Citizens Incorporated. Joining me right now is Executive Director of Senior Citizens Incorporated, Patty Lyons. Patty, it's always oh, great to see so you. so good to see you. And I love Mother's Day. Oh, I know you do. And you know, this is a special time of year. Mm -hmm. You know, whether your mom is still here, whether she has passed on, I mean, it is a wonderful time to honor those women in our lives not just our moms but our grandmothers mm -hmm. and uh, you know even our aunts sometimes when they've taken on the mother responsibility um, but when it comes to the older moms mm -hmm. what can you tell us as advice on maybe some ideas of ways and things to think about on that special day well you know like with any gift you want to think about what it is that they like to do and, and then there's some easy ways you can tailor your gift that's practical you know, you, there's only so many knickknacks somebody needs, but, you know, if they love to cook, then, you know, maybe, maybe some food, something that they normally can't get to, you could bring into them. Have somebody come in and clean their house for oh, them. Oh, that's a great you idea. You know, I mean, there's just so many things you can do that are practical. You know, the things that um, we tell people is, you know, don't, don't give them a candle. Don't, you know, just don't give them stuff to sit around. And, and particularly if they are an older mom, um, if they're not getting out a lot and things like that, don't buy them a pet. You Don't know, we see that that's a lot. Right. You know, you think, oh, mom's lonely. Well, that's, that is probably true, but she wants them. You know, maybe if they love animals, you could have, well, you can call senior citizens and we can have pet therapy come in. You can do things that are practical, and that's the real key. Um, I would say, you know, gift certificates are great. Photos, get one of those um, digital photo frames and put pictures of them with you know, their grandkids or with you and, and you know, things that they can look at. If they love to, um, to read but they've lost their vision, get them a book on tape. Let me ask you about, uh, you know, the day when everybody comes together. Is that a day that can sometimes be a little overwhelming for Absolutely. some folks? Absolutely. And, you know, I, they, they love seeing people, but you also have to be mindful, depending on their health, you know, how much activity can they handle in a day? And then try not to put a lot of pressure on them. Like if you're coming to their house, which they love and they have a great tradition, you need to be mindful, are you stressing them out? Um, maybe what you want to do is have a company come in and clean their house and get them ready for you to come to their house. You know, um, they really want to spend time with their kids. I would highly recommend a great gift is a membership at the Learning Center or even to pay for a couple of classes if they want to learn how to paint or they want, you know, they've been interested in the landmarks of Paris. I mean, there's always something very interesting going on at the Learning Center. Um, we can provide a housekeeper. We can, one of the great things is Meals on Wheels. And because you could get a gift certificate that provides them with meals and somebody's going to visit with them every day. You said mm -hmm. it's your favorite time of year. No, it's special it to you. Why is it important to you and senior citizens? Well, it's important to me because I was raised by a single mom and she's 94 years old and she's living with me and we've got Meals on Wheels coming in to help her every day. Making she's sure. benefited from a lot of things Oh my here. gosh, yes. When she lost her ability to drive, we started our Sterling Rides program because I was like, Everybody needs this, you know, so it's, it's, really been, it's really been a joy to be at this organization and have my mom with me and to see what are those needs as people change. And, um, but as an organization, you know, I hate to say it, guys wear out a lot sooner than women. And so, you know, the vast majority of people who are older adults are women. And people are living a lot longer. And, and to be able to be at this organization and knowing that we're helping more than 10,000 people every year to age successfully is just quite a gift.